Oh, I just got done finally drilling the heads off these screws. And I drilled in a little bit, but whatever. This is where the fuel net comes out for the 66 Mercury commuter. This plate clamps down a rubber boot that is basically in here to help. So if you splash fuel, it directs it so it doesn't go into the body, I assume. So it falls out here. Well, the rubber's kind of bad and they don't make it anymore. So my plan is to actually use a inner tube. So I'll cut the inner tube, put it under here, have the lips folded to the outside and everything with a hole going to the bottom. Whether that's a good way to do it or not, I don't know. It's pretty rusty. I might actually make a new plate. It's got a lip, though. Eh, we'll see. I can always shape a lip. i just rather not. Hopefully, somebody can find me a gas tank, because the one I have, the whole side's gone. Oh. And this panel here... I still have no idea what the purpose of it is. You can't even get to it unless you remove the gas tank. And the only thing in here is the two layers of, you know, the outer wall. I still gotta make this lip and a couple other pieces. But uh, all the rust is towards the back, the rockers. Don't even have a speck of rust. There's not one drop of rust on the floor. It's all in the back. And of course the frame, which I rebuilt. But other than that, everything's good. This really upset me here. The seat was perfect. And I went in here one night when it was really cold. And I busted the seat. Just the pressure of me. You know, the car was outside that day. and Or that night. And all oh, that upset me. These seats were so pretty. And I see that hole there. And another spot way in the back. Hanging in the corner. There. Well, after I got rid of all the mice in the house. You know got the cat and everything and the cat killed them all and the rest ran off apparently they went into the garage so bummer that is what it is